Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Chainsaw Man, which is on episode 9. Now, this episode right here was actually pretty scary. The way how it was done, I was like, oh my gosh, what the hell did I just watch kind of thing, you know, with that kind of face I had. So if anything else, let's get this started. We had to it, it plays a recap about how Jimeno died, and then that girl whatsoever, the blondie chick enemy, ends up having to like, um... Sacrifice one of her fingernails just to use like um the devil she's contracted with to kill the ghost hand devil But the ghost hand devil's last like um act of like um Defiance or troublemaking decides to activate Denji's like chainsaw ability, you know, and we get to see um <coughs> Denji facing the katana the sword devil or the katana devil and they seem to be on par with each other in terms of like skill level or fighting level. Or it's just Denji's like um, insanity that's a allowing him to fight, you know. However, Denji will later on be defeated when he tried to grab someone hostage. However, that didn't work out for him. He gets cut in half. Well, his waist gets cut off and that's knocked him out unconscious whatsoever. And then we get to see something about Makima. Despite her getting shot, she somehow survived. And all of a sudden, she does tell like um, two people or two people subordinates, whatever they want to, whatever you want to call them, um, tells them to follow these instructions. Get me the worst of the convicts. Meet me up at a certain temple and give me a change of clothes because it's time to get to business. In terms of that, Makima, on the other hand, says like, um, okay, now I'm really angry right now. I need you guys to get these things for me so I can get down to like what I need to do. You know. And we get to see Makima's ability happen in a nasty, ugly way. When Denji was about to like um, enter like um, the van that they were supposed to take him to, possibly the gun devil or the boss whatsoever, I don't care. Because right now the gun devil is pretty much the M.O. here, like um, we need to kill him kind of thing. But like I said, Denji was about to be thrown in a van and be taken off somewhere. However... We have to it that um, Makima ends up doing her ability and we see a lot of subordinates who had guns end up being killed. The blondie chick and the katana sword devil, the katana devil or sword devil goes like, hold on, hold on, hold on, what the living is going on here? And the blondie chick with the scary snake devil that makes her use up a fingernail whatsoever as a sacrifice. We see to it that she realizes that Makima is alive and that's dangerous stuff. And we get to see how Makima uses her ability. After she gotten everyone that, that she wants, the convicts and all that, and having them blindfolded and have her subordinates or the two people that are, that are with her blindfolded, she therefore goes to the convicts and tell them to say a certain name, you know? And we have to it that she uses her hand in some kind of like, um, ritual attack or whatsoever and ends up killing those people and the convicts at the same time I think they're dead because they seem like um they fall down every time they say a name and after Makima does her like um attack on a certain like um individual they end up being squished and killed in the most agonizing way that you could imagine if you watch the episode you get the idea I was pretty shocked to see what Makima can do I was like mother f -er. This woman is <laughs> the red hair devil or red devil. I'm calling, I'm nicknaming her the red devil, okay? I mean, that's just how her ability works and how, what she did. And as for Denji, we had two of the, the blondie chick and the katana sword devil were actually supposed to almost hurry up and bring Denji to the van and escape. However, Kobini shows up in a psychological insanity way saying, hey, are you guys like um with the shooters that killed my friend and many innocent people or many of our personal workers by any chance? And we had to it that the blondie chick scared ends up sacrificing another fingernail and tries to attack like um Kobani or Kobeni. However you pronounce her name, I'm very sorry. I mean like um it's really hard to like um figure out where to like um start off from, you know? But that aside, Kobini, or however you pronounce her name, I'm very sorry, um, ends up having to like, um, what, what you may call it, um, do some ma martial arts acrobatics to dodge the attack, and she ends up cutting off the arm of the sword, swordman, or the sword devil katana man, you know, whatsoever. We had to it that this girl, 
the Kobeni was actually able to dodge bullets and she's actually going into insanity mode or she's going crazy right now. This freaks the two of them out so badly to a point that they end up escaping. Even right now, like, um, Kobeni ends up looking at Denji and ends up apologizing for Den to Denji for what she did. And we had to, she's laughing and crying at the same time or she's really losing her mind right now because it's already too much for her. She therefore is going to tell him and all that she may end up having to quit because she can't handle it, you know? Which I go like, I seem to understand where she's coming from, you know, and so forth. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't blame her, you know, etc. I mean, like, um, many people don't like her because she was trying to kill Denji or sacrifice him so she could live. But we have to understand that human minds are not as simple as you think it is. I mean, it's really easy to say, like, in fiction or real life that you should die with your comrades because you signed up for this stuff. Don't go sacrificing them for your own sake, you know. But it's not as simple as you think, you know. Considering, like, what the hell she's been through. <laughs> and that aside, um, we have to it, Makima will later on be a leader of a new division group due to the fact that a lot of personnel was gone. And then the guy with glasses whatsoever, I forgot his name, he decides to quit and not work for Makima or just res resign right away because it's either it's either kill or be killed or resign or be killed, you know? And he's not going to do that. And when he asked Makima a personal question like, did you expect this to actually happen? Like, Ha did you predict that this would happen? And Makima, Makima does not give an answer because it's classified. And that's when that guy decided to quit, you know. Which is understandable. Because when you look at Makima, she's a very mysterious character. She got a, she likes to get a connection to Denji, you know. And then, like, um, she has these powers whatsoever that she needed to, like, um, need comics to help her out with. And then, like, um... It's never, she never confirmed in a certain way that she actually expected this to happen. In other words, she might have thought, she might, this might, she might have predicted this would happen, but she chose not to, like, um, think too hard on it or something, you know? And it looked like she doesn't really care about who died or not. I mean, like, um, as, we don't really know what happened to Hayakawa, you know? But I'm pretty sure he's okay. It's never been shown in an explicit manner or given any status information that he has been killed or cut into pieces you know you guys get the point all i know is that guy is in shock and he's like totally blanked out you know or he's spaced out very badly after seeing himeno disintegrated you know and so forth you know that kind of thing so we have to it that Mikema is getting ready to start her next move whatsoever etc so yeah well <laughs> This episode right here shows a lot of things of what could happen when you cross the line with Makima. I'm nicknaming her or giving her the name the Red Devil because look what she did in this episode. She just needs to know where your name is at, tells the convict to say the name, she just needs to do a couple hand movements however she's doing it, and splat, kaboom, agonizing death. It's over. I'm like, I was like, this is like an advanced form of telekinesis or something because the way how she's doing it, you know, she just needs to know your name and has a couple of convicts and yeah, it is game over. <laughs> As for Kobeni, I think that's her name, I think, or something like that. I, I, I can't seem to like, um, really like, what's the word, um, possibly say her name correctly or if she has a different name I don't know but all I know is just like um she it, she's also crazy too when push comes to shove she really shows off some powerful martial arts or acrobatics and she literally cut off a hand of the sword or katana devil but to be fair the katana sword devil did have a couple fights beforehand so either way it doesn't matter but he literally lost an arm so they and the blondy haired chick she is so scared. She she must have been so scared that she decides to go to the van and drive off without Denji after the after <laughs> Kobeni took her took her took him as hostage and decided to protect him. You know, and she's losing her mind and wants to quit when the moment she meets Himeno, but she does not know which she will get confirmation that Himeno is already dead. So, yeah. Oh man, this really sucks right now considering that 
what just happened and Makima did she expect this to happen I don't know but one thing's for certain is like there's a lot of mysteries behind her that's very very scary that much I can say the way how her powers work and how she does it and how she's like neutral or not caring what happened to everyone else you know yeah so until then people I'll see you guys in the next video I'm Alpha Zero have a good day I'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye Toot toot!